All right guys, so today is going to be a lower body workout. I'm including a warm up and stretching uh, after the exercise. As you can see here, I'm uh, moving at lightning speed. But no, I just fast forward the video. I didn't want you guys to uh, get a little bored watching me just jog at a slow pace, uh, doing two laps around the field. I do a lot of running. Getting your cardio in there is always good. To continue on with the warm up, we're going to do jumping jacks for about 30 seconds. Remember to bend your knees with each bounce. You want to absorb the shock. Exhale at the top. Your hands are above your head. Good job, guys. Next, we're going to do high knees or jogging on the spot. If you can't do high knees, that's okay. Stick within your fitness level. If you are doing high knees, try to aim for 90 degrees. Keep your your leg parallel to the floor. Remember to breathe, keep that core tight. Awesome. And then we're gonna jump right into the, uh, the exercise here. We're doing squats, simple body weight workout, keeping your feet shoulder width apart, aiming to get your leg parallel to the ground, 90 degrees. You want to sit back into the squat, just like you're sitting in a chair, and squeeze those glutes on the way up. Excellent. Next, we're going to do side leg raises. On the way down, do not rest your foot on top of your other foot. A little tap is okay, but no resting. You always want to keep those muscles contracted. You're working your abductor muscles here, the outside of your glute. All right, we're gonna switch sides, exact same thing. Remember to breathe at the top. Exhale as you go up, inhale as you go down. Excellent job, guys. All right, next, we're gonna do the exact same thing, except we're adding a variation. We're gonna be flexing the knee at the bottom, as you see there. So there's the flex and raise. Lower, flex, and raise. Okay? Again, do not rest your feet on each other. You want to keep contracting those muscles. Awesome. Don't forget to breathe and switch sides. Remember to flex that knee. And of course, if you can't flex the knee, don't, you don't have to. It's just a slight variation if you wanna get a little extra burn in those abductor muscles. It's perfectly fine if you're not capable of doing it. This is simply a beginner workout good for all fitness levels especially when you're coming back from injury or you're not used to working out at all everybody can benefit from this workout keep breathing and keep sweating guys and we will switch to the next workout it will be backward lunges alternating sides Remember to keep that core tight, stand up straight, and you're looking to keep those legs in line. Remember to breathe, and squeeze those muscles. It's more beneficial if you can go slow. If you have any knee problems, Find your range of motion, what is safe for you, and continue on with the workout. Then again, if you can't do it, don't push. And next exercise will be donkey kicks. Starting with the left side, 
arms shoulder width apart, knees just a little bit inside for balance, and you're lifting that leg up, squeezing the glute at the top, and coming down. Do not rest your knee on the ground, keeping contraction at all times. Remember to breathe out at the top and breathe in on the way down. Switch sides, and same thing. Giving your lower back and your glutes a workout here. A little bit of hamstrings, because you're giving your hands a isometric contraction here. A little bit of a core workout too with the, uh, the balancing that you have to be doing here. All right, and we're finished the workout. Finish off with the quadriceps stretch, left side and right side. Remember for the strength portion of this workout, you wanna aim for about three to four sets and 10 to 15 reps of each exercise. This stretch here, we're doing 30 second stretch on each leg. Remember to breathe, keep that core tight. To help with balance, you can put your arm out just like I do. And you want to stare at a single spot on the ground. And then we're doing a knee to chest stretch pulling that knee towards the chest. Remember to breathe. Giving those glutes a good stretch. By now you would have built up a little bit of a sweat. I hope you're feeling good. I was feeling amazing here. Maybe you can't tell by the look on my face, but I feel good really relaxing. All right, then switch sides. Pulling that knee to your chest. Remember, you want to find your range of motion. Everything is at your own fitness level. Go with what you are comfortable with. You never want to push yourself too hard, too fast, too early that you risk injury. All right, guys, and we're almost done the workout. Remember to repeat all the strength exercises for three to four sets. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and that will be the end of this exercise. Hope you have a good one. Ciao.